In this lesson, what we are going to do is solve using angle properties, and more specifically in this particular one, we're going to use parallel line properties, since these two lines are parallel to each other, as indicated by the arrows on them, uh, to solve for variables in this case. So a little bit of algebra is going to come into play here. Now, if we look at these parallel lines, there's two properties that we know based on these algebraic expressions. Uh, if we relate the two expressions that have the x variable in them, we know that those two angles, based on parallel line properties, that they, the sum of those angles is 180 degrees. So because they're interior angles on the same side of the transversal. They add up to 180 degrees. So 9x plus 13x plus 4 is equal to 180 degrees. Uh, second property that we know, and in this case it's not a parallel line property, but we just want to relate any of these algebraic expressions to each other that we can. Uh, you may remember that if we have two intersecting lines, the angles that are opposite from each other, so in other words, 13x plus 4 and 23y minus 7, they are equal to each other. So vertically, those are called vertically opposite angles. So I can state that the algebraic expression 13x plus 4 is equivalent to the algebraic expression 23y minus 7. Now, um, can I solve for x in this first equation? The answer is yes. And can I solve for x in the second equation? The answer is no, because I have an x and a y. I cannot solve for both of them at once. So let's do what we can do. We can solve for x in this first equation. So if we collect like terms, the 9x and the 13x, we have 22x, and then plus 4 is equal to 180. And algebraically solving, subtract 4 from each side. So we have 22x is equivalent to 176. And if you divide the coefficient 22, from both sides, you will get that x is equal to 176 divided by 22, which is 8. Okay. Now, we know that x is 8. That will be useful because x is 8 irregardless of the equation now. So in this second equation, we now know that x is 8. So if I substitute it in, we will have 13 times 8 plus 4 equals 23y minus 7. And at this point in time, we can now solve for the variable y. I'm first of all going to just calculate 13 times 8, which is 104. So we have 104 plus 4 is equivalent to 23y minus 7. Simplifying the left-hand side, we'll have 108 is equivalent to 23y minus 7. So we've simplified each side, and now we can algebraically solve. So add 7 to both sides. We have 115 is equal to 23y, and dividing by the coefficient 23, that should say, we'll have that y is equivalent to 5. So that is how we can use properties in order to solve for variables and algebraic expressions. Uh, so in, in your steps, it says to solve for a variable. What you're going to start by doing is write an equation to represent the relationship between the angles. So I wrote two of them. I noticed that they had a relationship of interior angles on the same side of the transversal and vertically opposite angles. And the next thing you do is solve the equation. And you always start by solving the equation that you can solve. You cannot solve an equation with two variables unless you know what one of the variables already is. So what you're going to do is try a couple on your own and let me know how it goes.